how, how rare are the functional ones in comparison to the non-functional ones? And for a relatively short protein, about 150 amino acids long, he determined that the ratio of functional to non-functional sequences was about one over 10 to the 77th power. Now to put that in context, there are only 10 to the 65th atoms in the Milky Way galaxy. So what that means is that a random search for a new functional sequence is going to be like looking for one marked atom among 10 trillion, or uh, sorry, yeah, it'd be a t one trillion galaxies of the size of the Milky Way. So, uh, and what, what it turns out that even four billion years of life's history is not enough time to, to solve a search problem of that magnitude. And I go into all the math of this in the book, and, and it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. There's only 10 to the 40th organisms in the history of the planet, not enough replication events to search a space 10 to the 77 uh, big. So you're looking at, even in the whole, if you take the whole history of, of life on the planet into account, you're only going to be able to search a tiny, tiny fraction of the total relative, re relevant sequences. So you got a really big haystack, really small number of needles, and very little time to look for them. The bottom line is it's overwhelmingly more probable that such a, uh, a search will, will fail than succeed in the known time of life on planet Earth, which means that the, the mechanism is more likely to, the, the hypothesis that the mechanism produced new information is more likely to be false than true. And so the result of this is, as you say, that it's, it's more likely that it's, that it's designed than that it was randomly done in, in terms of DNA. And that's reflected in, in the fossil record in the extent, to the extent that there have to, there, there's sort of these jumps in the fossil record. And this is what you talk about in Darwin's Doubt, is that it's not a continuous process of, a, of mutation upon mutation building one on the other just randomly. It becomes a big engineering problem because it's not just that there's gaps in the fossil record. 